And as we've seen over the last few weeks, our plan is working, inflation is coming down, wages are growing, the economy is back to growing again. And if we stick to this plan, I can deliver a brighter future for everyone in our country. He's back at it again. But instead of five priorities, Sunak's now moved on to plans. This performance here looks almost commanding, though, when compared to Mark Harper's woeful and overuse of the word plan when interviewed by Trevor Phillips on Sky. Um, will Rishi Sunak be, still be leader of your party at the next general election? Yes, he will, and he'll take us into that election and he'll set out very clearly that we're a government with a plan. The plan is working, we're driving down inflation, we're reducing people's taxes, uh, we are going to have the answers for the challenges facing the country in the future. We're the only party that's got a plan to deal with the priorities of the country. He'll take us into that election. He'll set out the choice. And I'm confident when he sets out the choice between our party yeah. with a plan, a Labour party without a plan, that will get that support from the public. I'm going to be supporting him all the way through. And I'm confident that my colleagues will. So as the interview rattled forward, the overuse of the word plan got too much for Trevor until he actually couldn't contain his laughter. I'm I mean, history's against you here, isn't it? Mr well, Callaghan well, in 1979, Mr Major in 1997, Mr Brown in 2010 held out until the last moment in the hope that something's going to turn up. They all bottled uh, an early election and they all got walloped. What's going to be different about you? Well, for... First of all, the Prime Minister made it quite clear at the beginning of the year that he expected his working assumption was the election was going to be at the end of the year. So all this sort of froth we've had about an election being in May uh, was always nonsense, frankly, and he made that clear at the beginning of the year. Look, we've got a plan. Things don't change overnight, but I think colleagues looking at it can see we've got a plan. Politics is a team game. People can see we've got a plan. The plan is working. We've dri driven down inflation. Uh, we, as I said, we've already talked about our plan to get the Rwanda legislation on the statute book to stop the boats. We've made considerable progress, reduction of 30% in people coming okay. here compared to what's happening in Europe okay. where those numbers are going up. The plan is working. Uh, right. I think colleagues need to right. uh, have some confidence Thank that you. it will deliver and we'll set out that choice at the election and I'm but, confident that we'll win. Mark Harper, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you, Trevor. Right, well, let's, let's talk to our panel now. And we have in studio uh, Camilla Cavendish and uh, former advisor to David Cameron, uh, Dorothy Byrne, formerly of Channel 4, and Christina Lamb, who is the for chief foreign correspondent at Sunday Times. I'm sorry, we have a plan here and we try to stick to it. Um, you said that three times. That's, <laughs> that, is that only three? Uh, Click here to remember the good old days when Sunak was going on about five priorities.